Hello, if somebody is new, my name is Anna. Hello. Now I am in Kiev. If to be honest, this year is the first time I'm in the center. Because uh, in winter up in India, I didn't go to Kiev. In to the center, I mean. Um, and after this, the war began, so I didn't have the possibility to visit nice, beautiful places in Kiev. And today I spent time here, and uh, I want also to see how it's beautiful again. And at the same time, I will show you. Of course, maybe a lot of guides uh, told you a lot and showed these places, but maybe you missed some tools with their, with other guys. So I in, invite you to my tours. Welcome. And now we begin our tours on the from the territory of Golden Gate. Before showing you a Golden Gate, I will tell you some general history about Kyiv. The history of Kyiv officially begins with its founding year as 482, but the city may date back at least 2,000 years. Kyiv was the historical capital of medieval Kievan Rus from 882 to 1240, and now is the largest city and the capital of Ukraine. This year, 2023, Kyiv has 1541 years old, and now on the video you can see the territory near the Golden Gate. The Golden Gate of Kyiv was the main gate in the 11th century, fortifications of Kyiv, the capital of Kievan Rus. It was built by Yaroslav the Wise, Grand Prince of Kyiv, in Byzantium style. The Golden Gates were built in 1017, 1024, at about the same time the St. Sophia Cathedral was uh, erected. It was one of the three main entrances to the walled city. The last two have not survived. The city of Yaroslav was located on the area of the mo more than uh, 60 hectares, was surrounded by the moat with water 12 meters deep and uh, a high rampart 3 and 5 kilometers long. Sofia Cathedral was uh, located in the center of the city of Yaroslav. The gate was damaged during the Mongol invasion of the 13th century, but continued to be used, often for ceremonies. Through the 18th century, although it gradually fell into ruins, then buried underground, and finally this landmark was lost to the cityscape for nearly 50 years. In 1832, excavations were carried out and the crumbling ruins of the once magnificent entrance were discovered. The walls and sections of the arch that remained it were reinforced with uh, buttresses and protected with iron plates. In late 19th century, the Golden Gate Public Garden was laid around this antique monument. In 1979, a pavilion was built over the ruins to protect them and recreate the original look of the gate. The pavilion was uh, completely restored in 1982 and marked to mark the 1500th anniversary of the city. A bronze statue of Yaroslav the Wise with a model of St. Sophia Cathedral in his hand was later added to the park that surrounds the gate.
This building with the sharp roof, uh, town folks call the Baron's Castle. It's one of the main ornaments in old Kiev. But the castle that was never a castle and no baron owned it. This house was built toward the end of 19th century in a mixture of Gothic and Renaissance styles. At the end of 19th century in Kiev, uh, the famous construction fever began. The hotel business was rapidly developing, but it didn't keep pace with the population growth of Kiev. Each next such mansion surpasses the previous one in design and architecture. Very interesting is the story of this monument. The grey Persian cat Patalimon, who lived in the restaurant opposite the Golden Gate in 1990, became the prototype of the statue. This cat was very famous and favorite not only for restaurant workers, but also of visitors. Unfortunately, a fire broke out in the restaurant and the cat died, suffocating in the, in the smoke. After a while, a monument to the famous animal was erected near the entrance to the same restaurant. Hold on the tail and drop the ears of the cat became a good tradition during photography near the sculpture. One of the Grand Duke, Volodymyr's son, Yaroslav, who earned the by name of Weiss, became ruler of Kiev in 1019. As the Grand Prince of Kiev, Yaroslav focused on foreign policy, forming alliances with Scandinavian countries and weakening Byzantine influence on Kiev. Yaroslav was married twice. He had one son from first Norwegian wife and ten children from second wife, daughter of the king of Sweden. Most of the children was married to foreign princes in different countries of Europe. Yaroslav was known for promoting unity among his children and emphasizing the importance of living in peace. Yaroslav's rule, which ended uh, with death in 1054, was marked by a uh, further expansion of his state and suppression of attempts of local rulers to overthrow Kiev's domination. Under Yaroslav the Wise, Kiev grew in size and acquired many new churches and other buildings, and special uh, emphasis was laid on architectural magnificence. New fortifications were built to strengthen Kiev's defense works. 
It's known that Yaroslav established a library, the first of its kind of Kievan Rus, at the cathedral. The library contained hundreds of books, a considerable number of those for those time. At the library books were copied and translated. Yaroslav's sons developed the great Kiev Pachersk Lavra monastery. Thank you.
this original building dates back to 91 and it's a real ornament to the city. Back then it was the tallest building in Kiev. Uh, but we are talking about a residential house. This building was furnished uh, with hotel type rooms and uh, there were also shops and restaurants here. Then uh, the editor's office of, uh, for Soviet propaganda and agitation magazine was housed in the former furnished rooms and many other rooms were converted into various office premises. After Second World War, the cocktail bars, the first-class restaurants uh, like Chaika and uh, Leipzig were set up here. Then the restaurants were shut down and tenants uh, of, the, uh, of others' premises uh, had to move out. Since 1990, the once magnificent building had been deserted and destroyed. More recently, it uh, has been restored. There are plans to rebuild this house as a five-star hotel for 220 rooms. But this building is still empty, unfortunately. Uh, Kievans uh, and guests of the capital city appreciate this building for its originally. But you see, it's really beautiful.